Yes I ye, yes I yo, yes I yes I yes I blow, yes I ye, yes I yo, yes I yes I yes I blow. I am back in Peaceburg. Happy Sunday. This is Phil Osophical speaking, and I am feeling a lot of interesting and intriguing feelings right now, of excitement, of philosophizing about my place in the universe and just many other things um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna share a few of my thoughts here as I sit on this fine day in Peaceburg and um, uh, these leaves are so vibrant I just took an icy cold shower which is one of my absolute most favorite things to do and I was feeling all these thoughts just mental advisors plaguing me this morning and taking a nice icy cold shower has helped a lot um, but one of the things on my mind recently has been um, how much do I want to put energy into uh, making videos and things like that and I I often think like, oh, well, maybe I should only do one video a day or maybe I should do 15 videos a day because my philosophy or one one way to look at it is that these, these corporations are putting out millions of dollars into ad campaigns to bombard us with disempowering information and they're working at this 24-7 and so I feel like it's my duty to, to put some stuff the other direction, some empowering and inspiring information and just add to that whole um, category. And so I've pondered this a lot. I mean, I've, I've, one of the books that I'm gonna recommend in this video is called Be Here Now by Ram Das. And uh, a lot of the video is all about these these ego traps that we get tied into, and and one ego trap that I've gotten tied into is like this concept that we need to just keep doing all the time, and we value our self worth by how much we're doing, and I think it is possible to get tied up in that but you can also have a balance with it and balance being and doing. And so for me, my, my current status is that we can balance being and doing and do this, uh, as Kelly, my friend Kelly May says, constant content creation. So we can be constantly uh, sharing new inf inspiring information and adding to this massive repertoire of inspiring information and ways to do that is making YouTube videos we can post inspiring information on Facebook all over the internet just spreading the good news that there is inspiring things out there and helpful information and so one of those things is this book Be Here Now by Ram Das. Um, and it's just this incredible book of intense spiritual teachings um, <laughs> just keep saying remember be here now remember be here now and on the inside it has these incredible drawings and like text uh, thingamajiggers and these are just really cool ways of incorporating text with imagery and I would really like to turn the flowetries that I've composed into something like this. Uh, um, it's one thing that I've been pondering for a while, but I have a lot of projects on my plate, and as I'm trying to do constant content creation while balancing being and doing, and not burning myself out in either direction, um, I invite you, if you feel compelled, to somehow turn any of the flowetries into some sort of online or book format like this. And I mean, if you just want to do it on your own, 
that's cool. If you want to publish it on your own, that's cool. If you want to somehow collaborate with me, that's also cool. I mean, there's infinite possibilities of ways we can portray inspiring information and share it with others. And I feel like they are all beneficial and we can get down on ourselves about whether we're making an impact or not. But my philosophy is if, if, if it helps one person the tiniest bit, then it's worthwhile. So I'm going to keep on doing all this crazy stuff because if it helps one person, if it makes one person smile, then it's worth it. So another thing that I recommend is this book here called Full Body Presence, Learning to Listen to Your Body's Wisdom by Susan Skurlock Durana. This book has helped me a lot. Um, it really, uh, it's called A Guide to Living in the Present Moment. It's similar to Be Here Now and similar to Eckhart Tolle's books, but it really gives practical applications to um, ways of keeping energy flowing in your body and um, just ways of conceptualizing um, being in the present moment and how um, one thing it talks about is how during our day certain ways we lose energy we are energy inefficient sometimes we let other people kind of zap our energy or we are subconsciously zapping other people's energy and it's just very very practical application of being here now in the present moment the only moment which really ever exists you're always in the present moment well your body's always in the present moment the mind is the thing that dwells on the past or the future but we can be here now like Ram Dass like Eckhart Tolle and uh, yeah there's just so much inspiring things happening in the world I just I really want to share them as much as possible and uh, I invite you to do the same so also I'll mention again the paradigm shifting flow tree album I'd be happy to send you a copy for free or if you'd like to give a gift energy exchange of some sort that is scoobly do as well <laughs> oh, it's a crazy world peace my friend and uh yeah if you if you'd like a copy just send me a personal message or something like that peace